What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to do a proper split squat along with three common mistakes and all that good information, okay? So a lot of you are still working out from home so we just wanted to show you how to do it properly, how to get the best results. And this is one of our favorite quad exercises that's gonna really help you see great progress, okay? So a lot of times people are asking us, what the heck is the difference between a lunge and a split squat, okay? A lunge is typically where you're gonna be essentially either going back and forth in some different type of motion, okay? You know, it could be a reverse lunge, it could be a walking lunge, your legs are just constantly going back and forth. Whereas a split squat is essentially doing a squat with your legs split apart and you're just essentially going up and down, okay? This is really good because it's gonna help if you're not used to just balancing and doing all that other stuff. This is a great exercise to help you get ready for the lunge or even to help you get ready for a Bulgarian split squat, okay? So just going into proper form, I like using one of these pads, especially to start off, because it allows you to make sure that you're getting a full range of motion, okay? A lot of times people will do a split squat or a lunge, uh, whatever it is, let's talk about split squats for now. They'll set up and without one of these things, they'll just go like this, okay? It's not a full range of motion, you know, half measures get half results, okay? Next up, so one thing I like to do is just, especially for starters and just to hold you accountable is have something that's kind of splitting your legs apart and just giving you some accountability. Once again, not for everyone, but if you're just learning to get into this, it could be super beneficial. So pretty much the goal here is to, to try to get two 90 degree angles with your legs, okay? Um, we'll talk about this in the common mistakes after, but I find this is just a good rule of thumb, okay? Two 90 degree angles, getting your knee down nice and low, and then just keeping that core nice and tight. Front foot is absolutely planted into the ground, okay? If you're wearing running shoes, if you're doing something like that, it's not gonna be as beneficial for just balancing. So one thing I, I love doing is just doing it without shoes or the flat foot, okay? Boom, just like this, okay? Obviously you wanna add some weights. You can jump into it, find your balance. One of the biggest things is you always wanna find a focal point, something that's in front of you that's not moving, okay? To help you find your balance, boom. Okay, once you've progressed into this, and if you do have a platform, something that's around a bench height, um, or you know, around like knee heights, you can definitely do Bulgarian split squats. They're gonna be much harder, balance is gonna be much harder, and if you are looking for that full form video, make sure to click the second link in the description for the Bulgarian split squat video to take things to the next level. Before we jump into the common mistakes, first link in the description is a free full personal trainer in your pocket. Make sure to go grab that. Basically, any exercise you're struggling with, you can download it. When you're in the gym, you can pull it up, scroll through and be like, okay, here's proper form, here's the tips, here's the links, and all that good stuff. But um, the common mistake number one I see very often is just improper foot placement. A lot of times, as you can see on the screen here, people are just way too close, which doesn't allow you to just get the proper movement in and a full range of motion. And then sometimes people's legs are spread too far apart, which is just super uncomfortable and it just honestly kind of bothers your hips, okay? Number two is just knee caving. So a lot of times, you know, similar to just regular squats, a lot of times uh, people just aren't focused on that and their knees are curved inwards, which is actually just gonna be something that, you know, over time will not help you uh, be in the optimal position and get the results you want and could potentially get you super super injured okay and then last but not least is just overextension of the lumbar so a lot of times people just try to keep too upright that they end up kind of like overcompensating and that's just something that's gonna lead to injury and just not get you to do the proper movement and get the best results possible so hey hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully this taught you a thing or two you know this is something that you can do lots of reps with if you're at home and don't have super heavy extra uh, heavy dumbbells they'll absolutely tear up those quads and once again jump to the Bulgarian split squat as the next variation that's an absolutely amazing amazing exercise, probably on my top three, especially if you're at home and you don't have super heavy weights, it can be a great replacement. And even if you do, it's an amazing unilateral exercise that literally everybody should be doing. We shouldn't just be doing bilateral regular squats, we should be doing single leg work. So try this out, share it with a friend, smash that like button, and we appreciate every single one of you being here. Peace.